and welcome to my source business show here at Prayer Cave TV, your number one Christian station. My name is Doreen Kimondo, and I'm so happy that you could join us today for this amazing episode. Now, today we are diving into the world of sweet cake. We are in the cake industry. And I'm so happy that I have been joined by an amazing baker. She is an upcoming uh, cake baker. Her name is Nora Mwangi, who owns a company uh, named Caked Up by Nora. Karibu sana, Nora. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming to the show today. Thank you so much. We are so eager mm. and to learn about cake baking and what what happens in the cake industry mm. thank you so much uh now karibu just say hi to our viewers using this camera mm -hmm. and then we'll continue from there hello and good evening my name is nora as you've been told i am a baker and a cake artist and i'm so glad to be here to share my little nuggets about the cake industry and whatnot yeah, yeah. Amazing. Mm. I am so happy that you came here. Mm. First and mm. foremost, mm -hmm. caked up by Nora. Mm -hmm. Where did all why caked up by Nora? Oh yeah. It is just as it is. I Nora loves to bake cakes. Mm -hmm. I love to see you people consume my cakes. Mm -hmm. And I love you people enjoying the cakes. So I get you caked up. <laughs> so it's simply caked up by Nora. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. So today we'll be hearing more about flour, mm -hmm. frosting. If you don't know these terms, we are learning together. Mm. Fantastic flavors, creativity, mm. all that is what Nora mm. will be educating us and yeah. even uh, um, enlightening, uh, enlightening us on. Mm -hmm. Nora, mm -hmm. Why cakes? Why? When did you start baking? What made mm -hmm. you start baking now that you're an upcoming baker? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it started during COVID, uh -huh. where everybody was locked up in the house. Mm -hmm. We could not move. I remember there was even lockdown. Yeah. We couldn't move. Mm -hmm. We couldn't go anywhere. So we were only in the house or going through the internet. So as I was just going through the internet, I could see people baking with pans, people using jikos, mm. people using all sorts of things just to bake. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I really wanted to, like in the beginning, like even before the COVID, I always wanted to like have a cake shop mm -hmm. and maybe a coffee shop, which God willing it is going to come up. Amen. <laughs> and I always loved that. Mm -hmm. So when I saw people baking uh, on the internet, I also tried like baking with a pan, baking with the jikos, with the sufurias mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah, and when COVID was done, I kept baking, but now it was a hobby which I made it commercial. Wow. So I made my hobby commercial now mm -hmm. and I started baking for people. People would eat and they're like, oh, that's nice. I give to children, oh, that's nice. I give to people in the office and they're like, oh, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. So I thought of maybe why not make my hobby you know, make yeah. my hobby bring me money. Yeah. And that is how Caked Up by Nora was birthed. Okay. Yeah. So from the, the from the times of COVID-19 yeah. to now, when did it, now when did you decide to go commercial? Oh, mm -hmm. I said uh, making for money like a few months ago, okay. like maybe six months now. Mm -hmm. That is when I made it now, like officially, this is now what I want to do mm. for like, you know, money. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Now, mm -hmm. what specifically do you bake? Mm. Is it everything that has flour in it? Mm. What tell us, take us through what Nora does. Oh. Yeah. So I you know, I love the oven so much yeah. and I bake anything bakeable. I do cakes, I do cookies, I do muffins, I do cupcakes. I also introduce croissants and uh, <clears throat> just any wedding for any event, for weddings, for anniversaries, for proposals, for birthdays, any any kind of cake, any sort of cake, mm -hmm. and anything bakeable I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And what would you never compromise when it comes to cake baking? Okay. Um, um, first of all, quality is a priority. Okay. I do not compromise the quality of the cakes. Mm -hmm. I love to see the customers um, get the quality, I mean, get the value for their money 
like they speed so well so they get a very nice cake and i love to also like get the feedback oh the cake was nice oh i enjoyed the cake something like that so mm -hmm. i don't really compromise <coughs> on my quality mm -hmm. and it is the first priority in everything in everything that i'm doing especially during in my baking career mm -hmm. yeah now that uh, Nora, you, I think this is something you taught yourself to do. Yeah, yeah. Is there somewhere you went for baking classes, mm -hmm. or this is all you and okay. the internet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when now I decided to go commercial, mm -hmm. I thought I figured um, because now I want to venture into the business completely. Yeah. So I went for classes. I did pay for the for the baking classes. Yeah. And I actually went for like a three month course mm -hmm. i got the skills i improved on the skills i improved on the baking skills and the final touches and the decorating okay. that i was not conversant with mm -hmm. at the time mm -hmm. especially decorating you know anyone and everyone can bake a cake yeah but not anyone can decorate a cake yeah so i actually went for the classes mm -hmm. so that i'm perfect at decorating mm -hmm. and at uh one two one two here and there and mm. making the cake yeah wow <laughs> making the cake now look presentable and Okay. Consumable. Yeah. All right. So, uh, tell us about the importance of going for those classes mm -hmm. for a bit mm -hmm. for someone who maybe uh, maybe has the passion mm -hmm. of doing something. Mm -hmm. Maybe it could be the cake. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they are passionate yeah. about making. Mm -hmm. And now going and not relying only on their own understanding, mm -hmm. but going also for guidance yeah. and classes mm -hmm. talk to that person who may be willing to do this yeah. and now they 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 really want to yeah, yeah what could they how do they benefit yeah first of all as i've told you the classes are very very important you yeah. know as i've told you everyone and anyone can bake as long as you have a jiko mm. some even bake with wood the oh, pros you yeah. know those i once ate a cake that was smelling yeah, so yeah. <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> it is possible. So okay. the the classes are very, very important because you know how to like decorate. You do the measurements in the village or in the houses or when where you're not doing it commercially. Mm -hmm. Like personally, when I began, I was not measuring. You know, I was using that ancestral, you know, that African <laughs> ancestor telling me, Yongeza chum, uh, Yongeza hi. So me, yeah, 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 <laughs> kamefika apo. So in the beginning, I was not measuring. Yeah. I was just doing it randomly and just figuring this and this and this will go with this and this. Yeah. But in school, because you are even being taught the production, the production costs mm -hmm. because you are now doing it commercially. Okay. So you are taught how to measure. I didn't know about measuring before, so I learned how to measure so that you are able to make, maybe if you ask for a one kg cake, mm -hmm. a two kg cakes, or a certain few muffins or whatever. Mm -hmm. So first thing you learn how to measure mm -hmm. and how you get profit out of it. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you are taught how to make even quality cakes. Thirdly, you are taught how to decorate. Okay. Decoration is everything. Like anyone, as I've told you, can make and bake, but not everyone can decorate. So school and the classes, if you can afford, I really recommend mm -hmm. because it really made me grow mm -hmm. from the the Jiko days mm -hmm. to now baking it commercially and the quality and everything because you don't want to give a customer yeah something that they is not no quality for their money yeah. yeah you want to see them eat some nice things and getting good reviews yeah so if you can i'd advise go get some classes mm -hmm. it's only like two to three months mm -hmm. go get some classes you will be able to learn a lot mm -hmm. a lot a lot i didn't actually even know about fondant Mm. You are taught, you see in the weddings, a cake, ikona bibili, ikona kiondo, ikona oh, all those things. that's yeah. called fondant. That's fondant. All right. Because it's at that difference of cake, the fondant and frost and the other cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'd really recommend if you are able to and you want to, do, uh, and you want to venture into this business, mm -hmm. kindly get some classes done for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it will improve, really, really improve and sharpen your skills. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Now, um, you you seem very passionate mm -hmm. when it comes to cake baking. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part as a baker? Wow. I mean, I love everything baking, yeah. but I have to say my favorite part in the baking is in the in the whole 
cake idea is the frosting and the decorating because I'm more myself when I'm decorating the cakes. Yeah. I love to. There's that creative part and I really thank God uh -huh. that creative part in me. Mm -hmm. So I love to put out my art on the cake. An idea comes, I put it on the cake. And I, another idea comes, I love to actualize the ideas on my cake. Yeah. So I really love the frosting part, the decorating part. Mm -hmm. It really makes me so happy and fulfilled. Yeah. Trust me, it really makes me so fulfilled when I, I do that. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when you talked about creativity, mm -hmm. so this is also something that uh, you should have mm -hmm. as a baker. Yeah. Being creative, being creative. Mm -hmm. No, because you spoke of, I didn't know the the making of the different things. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called fondant. Yeah, yeah. What is the importance of creativity? Mm. How does uh, do you need to be a creative person, or you just need to come as you are and well, do cakes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you may have the baking part of yeah. it and be perfect at it, but even if you need kidogo creativity, even if you're not so creative, yeah. Because a customer will come and tell you, "I, I need a cake um, with." having an idea of minions or a Mickey Mouse cake or a, you know, mm -hmm. you'll need to figure out and be creative mm -hmm. about how this go cake is going to come out as, like, you not only get customers who want around plain cake. Yeah. So even if you'll need Kidogo creativity, mm -hmm. it will have to come in hand. Okay. Yeah. Now that you talked about um, someone comes and tells you, I want a cake that looks like this mm -hmm. and that, mm -hmm. have you ever had doubts? And maybe a fear of how do I do this? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's uh, in your entrepreneurship because I am also aware mm -hmm. that you also do flowers mm -hmm. and chocolates. Mm -hmm. You gift people. Mm -hmm. That uh, how has fear? Have you ever had fear mm -hmm. and doubt mm -hmm. when it comes to this the whole business thing? <laughs> All the time. Yeah. All the time. It's just that nowadays. It has really toned down with time as I'm getting used to it. Yeah. But all the time, trust me, because in the beginning, I, I thank God because even um, I had anxiety in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. After making a very nice cake, will the customer love this? Will it be presentable? Overthinking. Is it overthinking? <laughs> yeah. Doubting every now and then. But at least I have toned down on that. Mm -hmm. I'm more confident. Mm -hmm. I'm more. I am more confident in what I'm doing, in what I'm giving, and I'm. After getting good reviews from the customers, mm -hmm. it really, with time, eh, it really builds up your confidence yeah. and you're like, ah, they like it. Ah, that, that review, that one review, yeah. it really builds up your confidence. Wow. And I'm really glad because mm -hmm. it has also built up my confidence. Mm -hmm. I not as doubtful and fearful as before, mm -hmm. but it really happens. It happens okay. when you're beginning, even in anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we sh we should appreciate uh people who've done some good jobs. Mm. It it yeah. as you've said, yeah. it will boost someone's confidence, and True. maybe they are waiting for just that one yeah. appreciation of oh thanks, this was amazing. Yeah, wow. Some people are like that, but they they really need a review, a very positive feedback. I know, and it really builds them up. Even mm. in any other careers, I'm sure, mm -hmm. if you need a part at the back, especially in the beginning when you're trying out something new, yeah, that part at the back means the world to you and it means your whole career to some extent yeah. huh? i mean you don't rely on people's you know yes. but it really gives a lot of life to that path that you're taking mm -hmm. yeah so guys let's normalize appreciating some good work <laughs> <laughs> some people are depending on things and they well, really really look forward yeah, for yeah. The, those reviews and yeah. those appreciate appreciation yeah, notes yeah. Nora, how have you grown personally mm -hmm. uh, as, as a person, mm -hmm. now that you're a business person, mm -hmm. how has it made you grow mm -hmm. even in your personal uh, life? Uh -huh. Yeah. First and foremost, the first, the number one mm -hmm. thing, I have learned to rely on God. Honestly, this cake industry mm -hmm. has made me rely on God more because first, I do not have like customers who are seated just waiting for me yeah imagine i get orders because i do not have customers just waiting for me mm -hmm. they just come i rely on god to get me customers to get me people who want cake people who want cookies people who want flowers people who want anything that i i am selling mm -hmm. you know 
-hmm. So it has really taught me. And I do not lack. I thank God I do not lack. Amen. Because I have learned to rely on God. Mm -hmm. And when you rely on God, you never lack. I do not lack because I rely on God. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, I would rely, but now I rely more. Mm -hmm. Because I need the money. Mm -hmm. I need to see people love what I do. Okay. And he really does. So number one, I've learned to rely on God. Mm -hmm. Number two, I have learned to be confident. Yeah. And to avoid procrastination. Mm -hmm. If you want to do something, just do it. Mm -hmm. Just begin and start. Mm -hmm. So I have also learned to like, no tomorrow, no the other minute, no. Just do it. When you think about it, do it then. Do it then. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Mm. What advice? Mm. Let me come to the question of what advice uh, you would give to someone yeah. who wants to start. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a cake business mm -hmm. or any other business yeah you as an upcoming entrepreneur mm. as an upcoming cake baker yeah there are things that you have learned yeah what advice so far of what you have experienced mm -hmm. would you give to someone who is upcoming okay mm -hmm. so what i'd give i'd tell anyone who is beginning just not cake industry or cake or whatever just anything that you want to begin just begin trust me i've procrastinated i've postponed this um venture to do it uh, commercially for the past two years ah, i will do ah, i will do it tomorrow i'll do the other day i kept postponing yeah. and right now honestly i wish like i started two years back mm -hmm. but i thank god because i already started and you know god's time is always the best yeah, sure but one thing i have learned is god will give you talents mm -hmm. he will give you gifts but he will not come and force you to use those gifts. It's true. He has given you those gifts so that it helps you. Mm -hmm. Like he's put us here mm -hmm. with fully equipped. Yeah. And he has given us those gifts, those uh, talents, but he will not force you. Mm -hmm. You will have to do it. Mm -hmm. And whenever you start, you know, God, God is, I'm a pay freedom. It's true. It is you decide when you want to use it. It is going to help you at that time. Mm. Right now, I wish I started two years back, mm -hmm. but I'm really glad I, I have already started. I thank God. But I have learned if you want to do just anything, my dear, just do it mm -hmm. then and there. Mm -hmm. If you feel the the intuition or you feel like you want to do it and it is good, and it is beneficial and it is going to be to bear fruits, mm -hmm. just do it. Do not postpone. Yeah. Time. Anxiety, fear is the only block mm -hmm. that you have to being uh, prosperous or being successful in anything, mm -hmm. anything. So just start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you ever like failed at some point? Mm -hmm. Because I believe I I I believe mm -hmm. there are some people who do not want to start mm -hmm. because of fear of failure mm -hmm. or fear of not doing. Mm -hmm the best they mm -hmm. want to come out as perfect or uh -huh. do something that will look really nice mm -hmm. how have you dealt with uh failure i believe mm -hmm. every business person has failed yeah. at some mm -hmm. point mm -hmm. and those mm -hmm. are feeling mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. how have you dealt with that okay. maybe it could help someone mm -hmm. yeah well, I'd not call mine fear. Okay. I mean, failure, failure yeah. per se. Mm -hmm. But I'd call it just um, random anxiety. Just anxiety of how will it be? Will I fit in? Will I be like somebody else? You know, mm -hmm. one thing, never compare your journey with anyone else. Okay. That is what is going to prevent you from getting to where you want. Yeah. Or what is going to prevent you from starting something so beautiful that anxiety stops something so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I'd not call mine failure per se, yeah. but I kept being anxious. Will they love it? Will I fit in? Mm -hmm. I'm just a beginner and there are some gurus who are making it. Will I fit in? Mm -hmm. You know, that is what really kept me mm -hmm. from doing what I, I love best, yeah. creating beautiful cakes, creating beautiful muffins, mm -hmm. getting some good feedback, seeing people happy. Seeing, and one thing... Um, I may have not mentioned before, but yeah. uh, one thing that really motivates me in this cake industry or whatever and baking and whatever, because I also do flowers and cakes and, yeah. and, and chocolates, yeah. I love to make people appreciated. I love to see people being appreciated, to feel pe seeing people feel nice. Mm -hmm. You know, the joy of seeing people get flowers, <coughs> they feel so nice, that is what drives me. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. just that. 
without anxiety, without fear of the of the of the future. Yeah. Just that. And also not comparing yourself because I I, I see that many people yeah. fear what mm. your uh, the the other person is doing. Mm. Maybe they're doing so well mm. and you fear you'll not get to that point. Mm. Mm. And that's what brings the mm. fear and yeah. the doubts uh, sometimes. Yeah. Nora, you've talked about the flowers yeah. and the chocolates mm. that you do, mm. and you have not mentioned them here. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell people about the flowers mm -hmm. that you do. I know you package them so well, and you present yeah. them, and you'll be putting uh, photos of what you've done. Yeah. Talk to us about that part of your business. Okay. Yeah. So apart from cakes, I also do flowers and uh, chocolate. Yeah. I there are people who ask for like cupcakes, flowers and chocolate for surprise proposals. Um maybe a wife is or a boyfriend is taking to the girlfriend at the office. <laughs> <laughs> I delightfully do that. Mm -hmm. I really happily do that. I deliver at your doorstep. Yeah. Um there are maybe you have a picnic, you need flowers, you have all, if you need flowers delivered, I will deliver with chocolate and you can maybe add, if you don't want a big cake, you can add maybe some muffins or some cupcakes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I also do flowers and chocolate mm -hmm. apart from cakes and anything baking. Amazing. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm. I, I, I love flowers, I love chocolate. I wish I brought you some. Eh? <laughs> we will talk about that okay. later. Um, yeah. Tell us about where do you see Kicked Up by Nora mm -hmm. and the flower business and the chocolates mm -hmm. in five years to mm -hmm. come. Where do you think, where do you see yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to say this, that I see my Kicked Up by Nora business in a beautiful place, God willing. I will not look, I will not say as I used to say when I, two years ago, yeah. I do not see, I could, I do not see myself anywhere two years ago because of the fear I had. Mm -hmm. But I want to say in five years to come, I want to have a good cake shop or maybe cake shops in the country. I want to be, you know, seeing people enjoying my cakes. I want to see people even ordering from diaspora for their loved ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to see it in a, I believe it will be in a beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. place. I do not know, but I entrust that to God, and I'm sure it will be beautiful. It will be. Yeah. We also believe that mm. that yeah. whatever we speak with our mouths, yeah, it will it come really to do, yeah. fulfillment. Uh, now let me take you back a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you were to start all over again, mm -hmm. what would you do differently? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So number one thing I have kept on repeating because I'm a culprit. Yeah. Stay out, leave fear out of this. Someone is asking, mm -hmm. where do I find Nora? Mm -hmm. uh, I need flowers. Yeah. I need a wedding cake. Mm. Tell us uh, using that camera mm -hmm. where people can find you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have my social media platforms. I have my Facebook. Uh, you can find me at Njambi Mwangi on Facebook. On Instagram, it's Njambi Nora. And on what else? Uh, are you on TikTok? Well, yeah, I'm on TikTok. Yeah. Cake, caked up by Nora. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. I recently started the TikTok and it's called Caked Up by Nora. You can find me on those platforms mm -hmm. and we will deliver. Can you also give a number? Yeah, I have a business number. Right. You can DM me on those social media handles, mm -hmm. but you can also find me on 0719 Zero seven one nine five six five zero nine four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we will deliver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your last words, mm -hmm. your parting shot mm -hmm. uh, to someone mm -hmm. who is a beginner mm -hmm. or someone who would want to venture into a cake business. Mm -hmm. What would you tell them? Just start. Mm -hmm. Just start. Mm -hmm. With time, it is going to give. Mm -hmm. With time you will uh, exceed your expectations. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself. Believe in what God has put in you. Yeah. And with time, it will blow your mind. Mm -hmm. It will exceed your expectations. Mm -hmm. And you will see the beauty of those gifts that are inside you. So do not let fear distract you. Do not let postponing distract you. Mm -hmm. Do not listen to the negativity even in your own head. Mm -hmm. Just that. Mm -hmm. And with time, it is going to be very, very rewarding and fulfilling. Ah. Yeah.
thank you so much mm -hmm. and as you can see this is the amazing work of nora kicked mm -hmm. up by nora mm -hmm. thank you uh thank you so much for tuning in to prayer cave tv i know you have learned a lot from nora mwangi of kicked up by nora and we'll be putting her details on the screen just in case you need a cake you need to order flowers or chocolate nora is your person to go to and thank you so much for our viewers for keeping it tuned at my business my source business show i've been your host doreen kimondo until next time bye bye